Hi, so this is question three on the GCSE practice papers for 3D Pythagoras. Um, it looks a little bit more complicated than it actually is. Now the difficulty I've got with the video is that uh, I've only got, I can only show so much on the video. So please do go to the link below in the description and download this particular question paper and that will helpfully help you a little bit. What they're wanting us to do is to work out this dimension which is VO. Uh, now hopefully you can see that VO is the height of this particular pyramid and if I draw a line from O to C then effectively that's a right angle triangle. So if I just draw that out for you, what we're looking to actually figure out is that if we have a right angle triangle where the bottom here is O and the top is V, that's what they're asking us to find out. Okay, what we do know is that the slant height, as it's called, which is this dimension along here, is six centimeters. The only thing we need to do is find out this dimension along here, which they have as O to C. Okay, so very helpfully, they give us the next bit, which is they say the bottom has a uh, regular hexagon as a base and the sides are of length two centimetres. So in other words, this is two centimetres, this is two centimetres. Well, the biggest clue with all of this is that each of those is actually an equilateral triangle. Okay, now if it's an equilateral <laughs> triangle, okay, then it just means that each of the angles in here are the same. And also, importantly for us, each of the sides are the same. So this is also two centimetres and two centimetres. OK, what it means then is that OC, which is this length here, is the same as this length here, which is two centimetres. Well, that's excellent because then that will give us all the information we need to be able to work out the height, which is VO. OK, so what we've got then is a little bit of Pythagoras that we need to do. So um, if I just recreate that triangle here, I've got something like this. And I'm saying that's two and that's six. OK, well, as you know from Pythagoras, um, the sum of the square of this side and the square of this side equals the sum of the square of that side. So if we call that O and V, if I say V O squared equals, now I'm just going to do it for the sake of this, so I'm going to take this square away from this. And that will just mean that I don't have to manipulate too much on the video. So I've got 6 squared minus 2 squared is 36 minus 4. So that's going to give me 32. So actually uh, VO as a dimension, remember this is VO squared, so VO is going to equal the square root of 32 which equals 5.6568. Okay, so to answer that question to so three significant figures it's going to be 5.66. Okay, if you're not so sure about what I've done there, then please do refer to the playlist on Pythagoras and that'll help you with how I've worked out this. I have skipped a little step here just to, for the sake of making the video as uh, short and direct as possible, but hopefully you can see what I've done there to work that out. And also for this particular question, you needed to spot that this is an equilateral triangle. And providing you spot that, you should be okay with this. Please do visit the site, have a look at the, uh, uh, the practice questions, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.